Can I make a Yu-Gi-Oh deck with only $5? Today I challenge Top Deck TJ to a duel and both of us only have $5 to be able to build a deck on TCG Player. The rules are really, really simple. One, we can add foreign language cards like Japanese cards to make our cart cheaper. Two, we have to build actually playable Yu-Gi-Oh decks using no banned cards. Not this time around. And three, it should be pretty simple, but we're only going to use the item total for this and we cannot under any circumstances go over that limit. TJ, I wish you the best of luck in your deck building because in this episode, you're going completely down. The $5 challenge is mine. <laughs> so Leon challenged me to a duel with only using $5 to build a deck. And what he doesn't know is I can build Dinomorphia like nobody else. Dinomorphia is immensely cheap and their most expensive card being 45 cents means that I have so many options and so many ways to build this deck. And after building this deck, you can see I've only used $4.81 to be able to build this entire deck. So let's see what I use. Dinomorphia is a trap based deck using traps to be able to fusion summon. My main goal is to be able to summon Rexstrom to my side of the field and be able to turn off Leon's monster effects on his side of the field permanently. And I still have Dinomorphia Ketragena to be able to summon it on my side of the field, which is really strong, and utilize some of my trap cards. I'm really confident in this Dinomorphia deck. I know it's something that Leon's not going to see coming, and I really want to use that surprise factor to my advantage. So in my head, I already know the deck that I can build for really, really cheap, Almost every single card is a common, and it's going to be cruel, 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 crusadia. There we go. And as you can see here, there are higher rarities of these cards, but the amazing thing is that you can get them for uber, uber cheap if you go to the next page and click on some of the cheaper rarities. Then there's Crusadia Vanguard, Testament, Leonis, Draco, Reclusia, and Spatha. Every single one of these cards is under nine cents. And even on to the next page, we have Crusadia Revival, Leonis, and even Crusadia Maximus. Every single one of these cards are at a really good price. I'm gonna add them all to the card. One of the most expensive cards I'm gonna use for this deck probably is gonna be Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax at a whopping 20 cents. Hey, if you think about it, 20 cents is actually a good amount of money to be dropping when you only have a budget of $5. That's one fifth of a dollar. So again, we're only gonna count the item total. And as you can see, we actually got to $4.31, a nice little 61 cents to spend on some bubble gum. And this is exactly what we have built for that. Now, how Crusadia monsters are is that they special summon themselves to where Link arrows point to, and the Crusadia Link monsters gain attack based on the Crusadia monsters that it points to. My ultimate goal is to summon Crusadia Equimax to my opponent's side of the field and also Kaiju, one of their strongest monsters with this card pointing to it. That means it'll gain its attack. But also if I have a monster like Crusadia Maximus on the field, it'll be able to do double damage and Crusadia Revival will allow me to attack every single one of their monsters. Normally that is enough damage to win. I personally think that I have a really good chance of winning with this $5 Yu-Gi-Oh deck, but I'm really tired about talking. Let's get to the walking and prove that this deck is crazy. All right, TJ, tell me what you're playing. All right, Big Dog, look, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm playing. Okay. As soon as I normal summon Dinomorphia 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dinomorphia 3 is going to set Dinomorphia Frenzy, and I'm going to have a good time here. You built this deck in $5? <laughs> hey, man, it was like $3.87, and, you know, we ain't talking about shipping. Bro, you built some of the most toxic Yu-Gi-Oh decks for $5. You want to see some more toxicity? What do you have? I have a set one, a set two, a set three, a set four. What? Pass. Hey, yo! How? There's no way. Those cards are like, like, no! So you want to find out what I built for $5? Let me guess. Let me guess. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Moki Moki. <laughs> Close. I will normal summon Crusadia Reclusia to my side of the field. How is that close? <laughs> Bro, they both... Okay, maybe... Oh, <laughs> you was Moki Moki when you built... 
I, I got you, I got you. But I'm gonna go ahead and activate a Brute here, which allows me to destroy both a Dinomorphia and one card you control, Whoa, such you, as your Reclusia. You, you actually have cards that do things? Yes. With $5? Yes. Okay, I do have a spell card in response. I'm gonna use Crusadia Power in response to make my Reclusia unaffected by your Dynamorphia Brute. Hey, before I let this go anywhere, I just wanna say how much of a great domain this is. Um, uh. I'm gonna fusion summon, and I'm gonna go ahead and summon a Ketragena. Oh, uh, okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my Crusadia Reclusia for a link. I'll summon Crusadia Magius, and then I'll special summon Crusadia Maximus under my Magius, allowing me to add a Crusadia Draco from my deck to my hand. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You've activated my trap card. Another? Dinomorphia Frenzy. I will summon Dinomorphia Rexstrom. I'm gonna use my Magius and my Crusadia Maximus for a Link Summon into Crusadia Regulex, under your Dynamorphia Rexstrom, which my monster will gain the attack of your monster. Next, I'll special summon Crusadia Draco to my side of the field and use its effect to get Reclusia right back into my hand. I am gonna go ahead and use Ketragena's effect here to be able to use Domain to fusion summon again. Bro, man's really got 500 life points. Hey, no way, I'm, I'm losing! I'm working here! I will summon Stelfergia. I'll activate a Cosmic Cyclone here. I'll pay 1,000 of my life points to be able to banish a face down card, and I'm choosing this one. I will go ahead and activate Dinomorphia Sonic here, but because of Stelfergia, I don't have to pay half of my life points anymore. All right. Bro, what is your face down card? You can let me know. I'm your buddy. It's a card that has an effect, and it's face down. Bro, I'm going for the Gusto, anyways. I am going to tribute off your Dinomorphia Rexstrom to summon Jizakiru, the star-destroying kaiju. Thank you, you bum. The what? Now my Regulus will gain attack, and I'll trigger its effect to be able to add a spell card to my hand. My Regulus not only gains the attack of Jizakiru, it allows me to add Crusadia Revival to my hand. I'll then use Crusadia Regulus and Crusadia Draco for another Link Summon. I'm going to make Crusadia Equimax. Summon in the Equifax. Stelvergier will special summon Reclusia to the side of the field, and I'll use its effect to be able to destroy your phase down as well as itself. There goes my game plan. Wait, what is this? Hey, yo! <laughs> your opponent cannot target other monsters for attacks? Aw, oh, man, you're, 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 you're chilling. Next, I'll activate Crusadia Revival and use this effect, giving my Equimax the ability to attack all monsters on the field. And then I think I'll go to battle and I'll just waltz on over this Kaiju for game. Yeah, that's game two. <laughs> all right, big dog. Are you ready to lose this one? Bro, all I'm telling you is once I beat you, I'm going to take that $5 and get some chicky nuggies. Well, with them chicky nuggies, you're going to have to dig a lot because I'm digging for Theresia. I'm also going to normal summon Theresia, which is going to allow me to set Dinomorphia Domain. So uh, here's a one. Here's a two. Here's a three. How do you feel about a set four pass? I don't feel good, okay? I don't feel good at all. That is... Oh my God, that's pretty good. But fortunately, reading is on my side. I'm gonna go ahead and start off my turn by drawing and then activating Cosmic Cyclone on your Dinomorphia domain you set with Theresia. You got some good cards and that's crazy. Next, I will go ahead and normal summon Crusadia Maximus and then I'll use Crusadia Maximus for a link into Crusadia Magius. I'll then special summon Crusadia Draco to my side of the field using Magius's effect to add a Crusadia monster and Draco to be able to get my Maximus to my hand. I am not allowing you to get that Maximus to your hand because I have Dinomorphia intact, which is going to destroy your monster and negate it, and I take half the battle damage I would this turn. That's pretty good. Well, with my Magius, I'll be able to get Crusadia Maximus to my hand, and then I'll summon Crusadia Maximus and use both Magius and Maximus for a Link Summon into Crusadia Regulex. That is a very good card. If I did not already have Dinomorphia Frenzy. What the God damn it! 
Dino Morphia Frenzy is going to allow me to summon Ketragena. And then before I can allow you to do anything else, Big Dog, I got to use Ketragena's effect here to be able to fusion summon. Bro, cheating his life points like college debt. He just racking it on. Hey, bro, don't tell nobody. I'm going to get a loan to, you know, pay off my loan. For a small loan of 7,000 life points. I can summon a Rex to home. <laughs> <laughs> Look at big head old boy. Oh my god, guys. Look, he's like terrorizing the city. This ain't fun. <laughs> I will special summon Crusadia Reclusia to my side of the field and use Reclusia's effect to be able to destroy your Rexstrom. And oh. since you destroyed Rexstrom, it has another effect. I get to what? summon a Dinomorphia from my graveyard and I'm summoning Theresia. Oh my god, I hate this deck. What and is then Theresia. Theresia is going to go ahead and set a Brute to my side of the field. You can keep playing. I'll set two cards face down, and then I'll switch my Crusadia Regulus to defense mode. Defense pass, mode? Pass my turn. Ah, okay. All right, big dog. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this Brute, and I'm going to make both of us lose our monster. I'm going to destroy Theresia and the Regulix. Then that's going to trigger my Theresia to be able to banish a trap and special summon Diplos to my side of the field. How low are your life points going to be? If I do this correctly and to Konami ruling, I can make them 63 points. Bro, you're not going to make them 69? I can't make them 60. What Fortunately, I need some awkward. I worked on that. That's a lot of work, too, because then you need, like, oh a third. You are the useless yeah. stoner. Most useless stoner in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, my friend. If you can't make your life points 420,000, then what, what are you here for, dog? Just quit. Just scoop. Wouldn't it just be easier to make them 42,069? We're going to game three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you cheap bro kippy that does nothing but smokes the devil's lettuce. I'm going first this time. I'll start off my turn by normal summoning Crusadia Magius, but it won't be on the field for long. I'll use it for a Link Summon into my Crusadia Magius, and then I'll special summon Leonis to the side of the field, using my Magius to be able to get Crusadia Draco to my hand. I'll then use my Crusadia Leonis and my Crusadia Magius for a Link Summon into Crusadia Regulex, and then I'll special summon Draco to my side of the field, Using the effect of Crusadia Regulex, I'll add Crusadia Crawler to my hand, and Crusadia Draco will get me back my Maximus. I'll finish it off by summoning one of my strongest monsters. I will link off my Crusadia Draco and my Crusadia Regulex to be able to special summon Crusadia Aframax. I'm gonna do what you do best. I'm gonna set not one, not two, but three cards face down, and I'll pass my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw for turn. You fool. Before I let you commit any other cards, I'm gonna activate my phase down Crusadia Crawler. Not only will this special summon itself to the side of the field to my Equimax in defense position, face up defense oh. position, I'll also be able to give World Legacy World Crown to my hand. Oh yeah, you're gonna need that crown because I'm gonna definitely put you in the high tower once I'm done. I'm gonna start out by normal summoning Dinomorphia Theresia to be able to set Dinomorphia domain <laughs> to my side of the field. DJ, what do you think this is? I'll use my Equimax to tribute off my crawler to negate your Theresia. So you remember when you said you did it better than me? Uh, yeah, I did. Set one? Uh-huh. Set two? No, 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 no. three? DJ, you better not. Or? TJ, I swear to God, you better hey, not man. set five cards. You better not. Do not hey. set that card face down. I will drive How does on. Go? It's a, I got five on it. God damn it! Five again, again. I'm gonna go ahead and start my turn. I'll special summon World Legacy World Crown to my Crusadia Equimax. Then I'll special summon Crusadia Maximus to my other Equimax pointing arrow thingy. Ah, see, that's where I got some cards to activate, big dog. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a frenzy in here. And you're not. I'm going to use the effect of my Crusadia Equimax here. I'm going to tribute off my World Legacy World Crown to negate your frenzy. It'd just be a little bit crazy if I didn't have Dinomorphia intact. 
to go ahead and negate your Equimax and destroy it. TJ, I hate you. So I lose my Equimax. I get the fusion summon into Ketragena. And I went from winning this game most definitely to, it's been well, a long day, my friend. Yes, it's been a long day. Before you go on, you've seen this move like two other games. I'm going to use Ketragena here to mirror that Dinomorphia frenzy. Only monsters under a thousand and less can activate their effects. All right. I will flip my phase down Crusadia Vanguard and I'll use my Vanguard to tribute my Crusadia Maximus to summon back my Crusadia Equimax. TJ, I think all that plotting and scheming, I actually have the win here. I'll activate Crusadia Revival, giving my Equimax another 500 attack. I'll then use the effect of Revival, targeting my Equimax just in case. But since I have Crusadia Testament in my hand, I'll be able to draw three cards when I go into my battle phase and use Equimax to attack into your Thresia. Oh, whoa, whoa. At the start of your battle phase, I'm going to activate Dinomorphia Shell, which gives me a token, and only can that token be attacked. Can you at least pay half your life points so I can lose? Uh, oh, oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever, dog. I guess your $5 deck was more toxic than my ultimate engine of destruction. We out here. Also, that fifth card, I just want to show you, uh, you know, it was a fossil dig. Wait, so what was your fourth card? That was a trap trick. Oh my, bro, you're toxic. So it was like, it, I had six sets technically. How did, how <laughs> did, how did, forget it. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Screw it, just, I'm done.